Hello and welcome back to another Average Guy's Garage. Today we're back at the 2005 Cadillac DeVille that we did the spark plugs on. And here we are going to change the rotors and the brake pads on the front. So that was the, the lug nut cover. The center hub of the wheels are taken off. We're going to lift up one side at a time, do each side separately, uh, mainly because we don't have all the equipment to lift it up uh, <laughs> together. So we'll show you again once we get it in the air. All right, the Cadillac has a um, security lug wrench uh, adapter, each one, so you can't just um, get out and park your car and have someone take it out, take your tires. So we're going to use that with a air impact and get this first tire off. Sweet! All right, Put the tire off. So the plan is we take off these two bolts here, caliper comes off, we hang it out of the way, rotor comes right off, put the next rotor on, reverse the process. All right, backing out the lower bolt of the caliper. It doesn't go very far in there, just, just to hold the caliper in place. Once it's uh, just spinning, we should be able to wedge a screwdriver and pop the caliper, uh, the brake shoe part off. Can I turn it sideways? So that's a, it's a long pin that goes through and holds the caliper on and just a little bit of thread on that one side. So now we're gonna take the lower one out. We'll take a little, screwdriver and tap it out and then once it's out we can just pull it out all right all right we're gonna get the um, brake caliper off the little screwdriver in there wedge it off And the thing is, don't let it fall because we don't want to damage the brake line. We just keep working it until it comes off. And we're going to hang it up with a bungee. All right, now we'll grab yeah, the bungee cord. Lay it, lay it down, yeah. Now you can remove those brake pads right here. Front and back. Okay. Did you new did your new ones come with those clips? Uh, I don't know. Okay. All right, this one. All right. So now the next step is to take off this bracket that holds the caliper in place. It's supposed to come off. Is it just like? I think they grip it then, like vices. Yeah, I'll need you and Dad to go to the store and get a that wide mouth. No, just leave the that on until the bracket comes off. You're gonna take those those two bolts all the way out. The ratchet part on that. No, it no. You want to give me a ratchet too? I'll give you some money. <laughs> Get me a three eighths inch ratchet and a. And a um, wide uh, really? vice grip. I've been using that ratchet for years, and it's uh, <laughs> just frustrating. You know why? Because I, I think in the past I had used you know a hammer on the yeah. on the wrench on the on the 
hand part and it just... If they were just, when you could take it <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So that's just the frustration, you know, because you, you, it's like the hole in the roof when it's raining, you don't want to go outside and fix it. When it's not raining, you say, why do I need to fix that now? <laughs> right. oh, I, I don't know where in the middle of that, that I got that. That should be by the hand now. But as he was, he was a bear. And I, I can't get it out of my... <laughs> get it out of your head. <laughs> I guess you got to get both of them out. One thing is if you put one of the uh, lug nuts back on there, it'll hold that in place and it won't be in your way. We'll do that when we put it back on. We'll put one lug nut on to hold the rotor straight. If Big John was here, he'd be cursing me about not ever fixing my, get me a new ratchet. <laughs> wow. It's not wrong on that. <laughs> Comes right out, doesn't it? All right. There we go. There's what it looks like without the bracket and without the rotor. So, next thing, reassembly. All right, here's the new pads, and they're, there's a set, and they're different. On the inside, the inside pad is different than the outer pad. And so, this one here matches up. On this one, there's a little metal clip. So, the question is, how do you remember which one went on the inside, which one on the outside? Look on the old pad, and the one that has that circle right here is the one that went against the piston. The, um, the piston here, so that is the inside one. And this one here does not have the circle, so that's the outside one. When you put them back on. So we're gonna get the rotor on and get the brake pads and the caliper uh, bracket back on. All right, here we are with the new rotor on, and we put a lug nut here to kind of hold it from flopping around. And now we are putting the bracket back on for the caliper. Right. And things are moving along. And, um, we will get the caliper bracket on, tightened up, and then put it as tight as we can with our hands because that is an integral part and you do not want that to come off and you can see we're using a new ratchet that we bought making life easier all right so get it as tight as you we can even use that breaker bar to tighten it i think they should be as tight as possible yeah. Um, that one is under your feet, between your feet. This one? Yeah. Just take the socket off and put it on there. Don't they have a button or anything? Back in my day, you put a pipe on this thing. You wait, wait, is there? Push that button. Yeah. Oh man. Fancy. High tech. What engineer designed that? It was a guy that was working for Sears Rareback. Really? Uh -huh. Really? Who designed that? I was just making a joke. And, uh, oh, they don't joke. He come up with that quick release. Uh-huh. All right. And the seer said, wasn't going to pay him any royalties for it. <laughs> because he was working on their time. And what did they say? And they, he took them to court and won. Oh, wow. I did not know that. And so he'd be getting like 50 cents for every one of them. Wow. Alright, good job. Yeah, so, well, yeah, yeah. Put something in the front.
Elbow. Just seeing how these fit together. <coughs> Looks like that and that. Mm -hmm. Hold this one for me. Bottom one? Hold this one. Right in. Flip short in place. Now take it off and cord. <laughs> so now let's let's take a look at this. Undo these plungers. Now this is going to slip over here, but it is about a quarter inch or more too thick. So we're going to use these, we're going to use the calipers, I mean we're going to use the um, vice grips, slip over here and then pinch this to drive this piston back. Over this side. Yeah, so open it up. Just enough to get it over here. I think I'm making progress just a little bit at a time with it. Is it going in, in? All right, so. caliper in place. Um, we're able to press the caliper back with those vice grips and now we're going to get a good um, with a breaker bar on the calip on the caliper bolts and then we should be uh, ready to put the this wheel back on and go to the other side. All right, I like it. Okay. We'll take this lug nut off, put the wheel on, and then repeat the process for the other side, which uh, we probably won't film that. It's the same process. And then uh, just show you when it's all done. All right, the uh, left side is done. We're putting it back together. Using that breaker bar to tighten it up as much as we can. Okay, one key thing to remember is when you're putting this bolt back through here is to make sure this rubber is lined up right. Don't have that rubber bent on. Bent when you try to push that through, don't tear this. And that is it. We'll get the wheel back on. This was a 15 millimeter for the caliper and also a 15 millimeter holds the bracket on. 2005 Cadillac DeVille. All right, finish up the job. Get these covers back on. Done deal. Thanks for watching.